Oh, actually, um, Paris Sued opened this weekend, isn't it? That's a, some good news. India Hold Electronic Music Space. If you're familiar, are you familiar with Paris Studios? You should be familiar with Paris Studios. It's, um, it's a pretty cool, all encompassing um, music studio um, for aspiring musicians that's, you know, all over Europe for the most part, I think. They've got a few places dotted around in Berlin. No, one in Berlin. I'm not sure if they've got anywhere else in Europe. I'm not too sure, but loads in the UK. And essentially, it's these um, all purpose um, units that, you know, are autonomous, or, you know, you know they're self you, what they, what they call, what do you call them? You just basically, yeah. So essentially, it's a studio that you can rent rooms in, right? And they've got studio spaces for bands, studio spaces for DJs. Some of them have podcasting studios. You essentially make a booking online. Um, you get sent a code. You book it by the hours, or you get sent a code via the email or via your smartphone if you have a text. And then you get kind of get given a code for the gate, the actual building, and the door that you're in. You start when you're you know when your time starts and you leave when your time ends and it's pretty self-explanatory it's one of the best little spots we have in london at the moment and i think it's the best sort of like middle ground option for anyone that wants to do some sort so for anyone that wants to kind of have a bit of a party that's the best option at the moment they're not allowing more than one person from different households to be in one unit which is the issue so if you want to have a bit of a rave that most people do in there you'd have to make sure you're only with your flatmates but yeah I, i'm liking it man let me see if i can see it here where is it um i'll show you a little video of it pirate studios but it's a pretty cool little setup really cool idea um if anything it's maybe our version of like that horror or horror little thing that we have here as in berlin where people go and play sometimes um i really like it it's a really clean setup let me just play this this first one. This guy called Plugsy. He played that. Let's see what he did. Get that volume down to about 60. And then boom. Get that on the screen. So yeah, as you can see from the video here, this guy's got... It's just a basic room. Some lighting, some good speakers. I think they have a they have a webcam set up in there as well that you can use. Um so you can stream your, your sets via facebook and whatever but i've never actually used it i'm not sure if it actually works every time we've been in there um the camera equipment is always a bit faulty but for the most part it does it says the tin nice air conditioned room brightly lit loads of good sound um you know the, the soundproofing as well is fucking immaculate when you close that door you can't hear jack shit on the other side so it's a really good room to go and have some bit of fun and go and dj and if you want to have a bit of a mix you know outside of playing at home on like shitty monitors is the best place to be here. Let's move it along a bit. So as you can see, he's just vibing there, doing his thing. There's also a video here of Lucy. Let's see this one. Got some right. We're a little bit late. Angles on the top as well here. Let's see. Yeah, so a pretty good space to go to all, all things considered i can't wait to get back on the decks playing in a on an actual system that would be a fun time it might be a bit bittersweet though because it might be a reminder of just how far away i am from playing in a club again as per other teachers out there i'm sure you're all facing the same sort of fear um i don't know when can we assume clubs will be back um if we're seeing football starting again and if we're seeing you know Judging by the advice that I've been reading online from the people that I follow, they are basically saying that, you know, we're not we shouldn't hold our hopes out for a vaccine. If anything, we should try and mitigate the spread of the virus as much as we can by wearing face masks and adhering to basic hygiene, you know, right? Washing your hands and all that sort of malarkey. Um so if that's the case, a lot of these, you know, a lot of the venues where mass gatherings are welcomed they're going to have to make a decision or partly based on the government's um on the government's insights they're going to have to make some sort of decision as to how much risk they're willing to take because if a vaccine is not going to be on a cars until next year are those institutions going to be able to survive are football clubs going to survive solely off of the money they get from the tv revenue or will they need some kind of influx of cash coming through the gate regardless even if it's just like you know a half capacity of a stadium they're going to need something coming through i'd imagine so right so it's going to have to be one of the decisions they're going to make like what how many contaminations or in the worst case scenario deaths are we willing to accept in order to reopen things back up again now i guess with clubs the only good thing about nightclubs or bars instead is that if you live in a if you live in a sunnier place i could imagine 
there being a push to have loads of like open so for, to have loads of like beer garden sort of spots open up right or to have bars kind of converted into beer garden spots or to have bars have the ability to maybe have patrons stand outside and drink right because that's something that doesn't really happen that often or you get told to go back in after a certain time maybe they kind of um extend the opening times where you can stand outside maybe they give uh, people that live in I don't know, bars that are located in areas where there's not much car traffic you might maybe designate those roads no car entry or something along those lines that people can have more room to move around and drink those are the options that are kind of probably on the table I reckon in that regard but if I'm thinking about a place like Fold for instance one of our kind of big clubs or the, my favourite club here, here in London or a place like Mixed Garage I can't see that thing being open again and this year really can you? I don't know I can see warehouse parties have happening. I can see forest waves happening, but can you see mixed garage or a fold opening by the end of this year? Not too sure. I'd love it to be. Um, fold could probably do that, right? If they somehow were able to get around it and keep that fire exit open, at least at the balcony, that could maybe, you know, be a thing. Um, maybe, possibly, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I would love to see it, man. But regardless of that, I'm looking forward to going to back to Pyro Studios, having a bit of a mix, um, having a bit of a boogie, and essentially doing what I do best in it, which is playing music, recording a podcast, and just being a lad. I think spending too much time on social these days and trying to get involved in politics, which I had no interest in prior to lockdown. But because we're all on our phones and we're all engaged, you kind of have to pay more attention to it than you would hope to and world news events and whatever it's just it's just a bit overwhelming it gets a bit too much um there's only so much you can handle as a person there's only so much ram i have available um and i shouldn't be wasting it on things that i have no knowledge of right there's people out there who have kind of devoted their entire lives to you know combating inequality in whatever shape or form it may be and now suddenly here we are you know piping our head up thinking that we have an equal parts of a voice to play in it you know we might have a, an opinion we might be we might, we're we entitled to an opinion we're entitled to voice whatever opinion we do have and say our piece but if we think we're gonna make any sort of inroads in any sort of way any sort of meaningful way we really are deluded so um yeah i'm trying to stay away from that one and i hope hope it doesn't come across sounding disingenuous or it sounds it comes across sounding a little bit pessimistic i don't mean to be but it's just the rally of the thing in it like this is this should be a this should be um this should be a renaissance of expertise really this whole covid lockdown and you know the unfortunate events uh post george floyd death this should be a reckoning that we need experts we need adults in the room right we need them um, as we've seen with the new zealand prime minister right the difference good strong leadership makes in the response to covid we need a return to adults a return to yeah having adults in a room taking responsibility taking charge making decisive decisions and we need to return to you know uh val valorizing expertise right putting expertise on the on the pedestal and saying hey you've got more knowledge than that person you guys should duke it out and come to a conclusion but we shouldn't be questioning your knowledge right from our kind of skeptical point of view um yeah maybe who knows what do i know but anyway let's move on Bubbity, bubbity, bah. What else we talking about? Oh, talking about mixed DJ stuff. <clears throat> I've actually got a mix out at the moment called Test Mix Number Forty Six. Loads of new house stuff that I've been playing or that I've been listening to recently, such as that new Jada G track that everyone's been banging out. Both of us. Um, so definitely check that out. It's available now on SoundCloud. I would play a bit of it, but I'll probably get copy strikes. So I don't want to do that. So definitely check that out. It's available now. If you can see that on the screen, that's a track list there. Look at all those amazing tracks I got featured on there. I'm not playing any games. So definitely check that out if you can. It's available now on my SoundCloud, which is Handsome Black Man, all one word. You see it there. Test mix, test, test, sorry, mix number 46. Test mix number 46. And if you listen to show via the audio podcast, you hear a little snippet of the mix playing just after I say this now. Yeah, you'll hear that playing if you're watching a video you won't hear anything playing because i don't want to get a copyright strike so let's move 